Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for Rutek. This is our one-stop channel for upgrading your Snapdragon Duo GPU drivers to achieve the best gaming performance on your oldest or the newest device. We have created a complete playlist of upgrading GPU drivers that you can check from the video description. Last video we created to upgrade some specific Snapdragon GPU versions as you can check on the screen. This video upgraded the device drivers to straight OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 718. But today we brought you the latest 26th October 2023 Snapdragon GPU drivers version that is 744.60. These are extracted from the latest devices for your older device. Currently, I was using the Pixel OS Android 14 based custom ROM, which has OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 530.50. These are very old drivers dated from 5th February 2023. This is the power of upgrading GPU drivers using root access. So, today we will show you how you can install these drivers on your mentioned GPU versions. Or you can also try them on any Snapdragon device which are not mentioned here without harming your device. I compared the Geekbench and 3D Mark results of both old and the new drivers and concluded are they really making real life and numerical improvement of the device or not. Finally, at the last, I shown some issues that may arise due to upgrading to the newest driver and how to overcome them and it's very important part so don't miss it so watch the video till the end now without further ado let's get started on a new adventure on a new adventure. so first step is to download the current drivers as per your snapdragon gpu model i have given the link of the device info application Install and check your device GPU version. Here these latest drivers fully supports for Adreni GPU version 650, 660, 725, 730, 690 and 615. If you tap on each driver folder, you will find the latest GPU drivers but only choose the best version mentioned in the bracket in front of the driver version. That will give you the less issues and the best compatibility. Or you can also use old one if you have any issues with the new latest versions. If your device GPU version is not mentioned here, then you can check the test folder and choose the best one from there. But be cautious, I will not guarantee that will boot your device. If something goes wrong, I have given the solution at the end of the video. You can follow that, so stay connected with us till the end of this video. So my GPU version is 660 and I got the latest 746.60. Tap on the driver link that you want to download. This will open the separate page. There again tap on the desired driver link. Now scroll down. There tap on the generate link option. Wait for 5 seconds and you will get the download link ready. Download the driver zip. Now you need the Magix rooted device with the Magix application. You can flash this with the kernel su also. Open the Magix application and flash the Magix driver module zip. The best thing in this module is that developer already added GPU cache cleaner in the script that will wipe your GPU driver cache, which will help to solve most application issues happens after flashing such modded drivers. Now reboot the device. After reboot, check the Magix application is your new module is installed and working correctly or not. If something goes wrong, you can just remove the module and reboot the device. Now using the device hardware info application, check your device drivers actually upgraded or not. And here you can check my device drivers are upgraded to OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 746.60. Similarly check the Hulkan drivers version using the Hulkan caps your application here it's also upgraded to 512.746.60. So all the things are done correctly. Now let's check out the performance difference between the new and the old drivers. In the Geekbench OpenGL drivers testing, it is causing the force close of application due to new drivers versions. But I successfully tested the Hulkan score and it was incense score of 5363 which is very high as compared to the average score database of Geekbench for OnePlus 9RT 
and even more than score that I got last time with the old driver versions 530.50. Next I did the 3D mark testing of the new drivers. Here for the wildlife extreme I got the score of 6343. For wildlife we got the score of 1647. For slingshot extreme and slingshot open GL and Hulkan graphics drivers we got max route results. 3D Mark has added some more GPU tests this time like solar base, solar base stress test, but they are not supported by our Hulkan graphics drivers. Now let's downgrade the GPU drivers and we will compare the old GPU drivers performance with the new one. Here I downgraded to the old drivers version that is 530.50. After all 3D Mark test performance testing. New drivers has shown the massive improvement as compared to the old GPU drivers. Old driver has the wildlife results of 5777 while new drivers has given the massive performance of 6343. Old drivers has the wildlife extreme test result as a 1541 while new one has the 1647. Except that OpenGL slingshot test max route for the both the old and new drivers. So new drivers has did the excellent job in the improvement of GPU performance of my device and it will definitely works for you too. Now comes the most important part of this video that is issues arise due to installation of such third party GPU drivers. Actually I didn't face any issues for such drivers on my device but this time my OnePlus camera application was getting forced close after installation of these drivers. But third party GCAM version 8.4.6.0 was working fine with these drivers. Maybe I am using the beta Android 14 Pixel OS that's why drivers caused such issues. Except these all the applications are running well in my device. So if you are facing such issues or any kind of back black screen with any of application you can flash the GPU cache cleaner one more time using TWRP. Its link is given under the video description. You can uninstall this Magix module via Magix application. This will downgrade your driver version to the old one. Next solution is that you can hide the issue causing application using Magix denial list available under the Magix setting. But for this, it didn't work to make my camera work again. As per the developers, if you have the kernel to support, then this solution will work definitely. If someone facing the boot loop due to the flashing of this module, then please check the video link here under the video description to solve the Magix module bootloop issue. So don't worry, just try the modules and please comment us with your device GPU version and issues. We will try to figure out the solutions. If your device GPU is not in the list, then you can refer our other video playlist link here under the video description. So this is all about the updating your Snapdragon GPU drivers to the latest version. Hope you guys liked our GPU drivers video series. In future, we will try to bring more GPU versions supported for the old devices. And we will also going to bring the new GPU thermal control methods to avoid the overheating issues after upgrading to new powerful drivers. So please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.